pump affinity loss. What is this? This is the last topic in this section. So imagine there is no data in this diagram. We have this diagram, we've been working with it. And imagine I ask you this. If we increase the flow rate to 800 gallons per minute, while we, what will be the power? So 800, I don't have it, I only have 640. So 800 is going to be here. And as you can see, that's not normal operation of the pump. But imagine you only have that pump and you want to see if it is possible to work with this. Or imagine we want to try an experimental 10 inch diameter impeller. What will be the new head of the power requirement? So we have will be nine and nine and a half and maybe ten. So I know it's once again you're probably not going to fit that diameter, but let's say it's a very experimental one and you could make it fit. So what's the new head or power requirements? Well you are not able to do that. And let us see, find the power requirement when we change from 3550 revolutions per minute to half, that is 1750 revolutions per minute. So this diagram is completely useless when you have this diagram, uh, this velocity. You will need to find a diagram with this velocity. So what do we do? What can we do? Well, that is the point of a pump affinity loss. We will find many data which can help us to relate for example what is the new flow rate given the change on diameter the change on power or velocity in revolution per minute also what if I change the diameter what's going to change of course of course volumetric flow rate is going to change and if volumetric flow rate changes power changes and so on and how is power affected when you change it for example in the last example from 3500 to 1700 what is the effect of power is it going to be more or less that's a good question and this is good because there are no data in the diagram we're going to need to use these equations and as you can see guys we have volumetric flow rate diameter power system head and angular velocity and as you can see normally as uh, the volumetric flow rate goes directly proportional to the change or ratio on diameters to the second power for that of the head and to the third power to that of the power okay so let's do some exercises so exercise number one they tell you you are operating right now this one here this is your system curve and this is your pump curve and this by definition is your flow rate so from the last pump diagram from here we have this data, we have the, the angular velocity which is 3500, you have the size of the impeller which is 6. And they tell you find the system head, flow rate and power. That's actually pretty easy. The system head is just going to the left, it's something around 150 and 100, so I would say it's 125 feet. The volumetric flow rate, it just go directly to the x-axis. I found it to be 313 uh, 30 gallons per minute. And the power is a little bit more tricky. Let me go to the previous one. It's easier to see. It's between this line 20%, uh, 20 HP and 15 HP. So it's about 17 HP. So I got my initial data. That's my first problem. Now, in exercise number two, they tell you that maybe because a motor exploded something now we're not able to use this we need to change the motor which only can deliver 1750 revolutions per minute the impeller size stays the same so from the last affinity equations we have one problem because this diagram right here is only for 3500 so hi there I'm sorry it's all the video I got this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, 
the video is right here. You were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here. We have no data for the 1000, so this won't work. We will need to use affinity law. And yes, we use this angular velocity, angular velocity, and angular velocity. They ask us to find the system head, which is this one right here, and the flow rate, which is this one right here. So let's do it. This is to the second power, so I just plug in numbers and search or solve for the system head in the new arrangement. I got 30 feet, which is way less than this, and it makes sense because you're lowering the velocity, you're going to have less head. Now for the flow rate, that's almost proportional. We get proportion to this and this, and I find out that going to lower my flow rate. That makes sense because I'm lowering the speed. So if I lower the speed, there are less revolutions. And recall that each revolution per minute is going to be give, give me one volume per time, unit time. So if I decrease it, I'm going to decrease volumetric flow rate. So let's continue with exercise number three. Let's change the well revolution per minute to stay the same. The impeller changes from 6 to 12. Why would you do that? Maybe because we want to change and make it a little bit higher. Maybe we are operating more volumetric flow rates or so. And yep, let's find out the system head, which is this equation right here. Diameter system head is this one right here. Just don't forget to have the second power. Solving, I got 500 feet. So that's an increase on four times the original. So just because I made twice as big the diameter impeller, I got four times more the head. And for power requirements, I have this. Let me solve for this. Well, so previously I got 17, and now I got eight times more requirements of power. And that makes sense because we are increasing the head and the volumetric flow rate and the diameter impeller. So I will expect a great increase on power pumps. Actually, if we go to here, let me see if you have it. No, we're not going to have it. But if we increase to a, we stop in 8.5 what it will be 9, 10, 11, 12. If we wanted to increase with the same volumetric flow rate, no, we don't have the same volumetric flow rate, we increase the diameter. So we will probably go through here and find out that we increase volumetric flow rate, that, well, power increases a lot. And what else do we, and that the head is four times more, so expect a little bit more. We had 100 something, now it's going to be 400, which is the value we calculated, now 500 was the value. 500, and the power will be this one. So the conclusion, guys, is that with the pump affinity loss, we don't need the diagram. Actually, as I told you, we, got the, we didn't got the 12 inch diameter, but we still were able to calculate the questions they asked us. And this diagram is made for a 3,500 revolution per minute motor of impeller. So this is totally useless if you are going to say or do some calculations on the 1,750 revolution per minute operation. So just keep in mind that this is awesome. We don't need another diagram to find all this data. And we're done. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface. So for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block, and then you have the sections. If you're, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. You were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.